हेलो क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट फोर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ फोर्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक और आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू द टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स फॉर अदर टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेस आर देयर सो दे आर इन जनरल देयर इज टू टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेस आर देयर which you can divide as contact force and non contact force there is two type of forces there one is contact force another is non contact force now let discuss about what is contact force that means whenever we are going to apply the force on a object when you are going to apply the force on an object we will have interaction with the object that means we will touch of the object for example i am writing on board i am applying force on a chalk i am writing on a board that means i am touching i am giving contact with the chalk then only i am writing here correct it will make interaction with the object and there are no interaction that means there will be no touching no touching means will not be no contact with the object whenever you are applying force there will be no contact with the object and there will be contact which we are by touching the object we are applying the force clear so let discuss about what are the contact forces are there clear so now we are discuss about the contact force and after that we are going to study of the non contact force the types of force there are mainly how many two types of forces are there one is contact force another is non contact force now what are the contact force let's see what are the contact force the first one is applied force applied means when you are try to move try to move your object or you are try to change the shape of an object what you will do is to apply the force the force applied by us that is called as applied force clear next number 2 we are having muscular force whenever you are doing any work by using our muscles for example whenever we are running we are playing football we use our muscles that force is applied by our muscle that force is called as muscular force next we have tension force what is tension force when an object on an object we hang by rope or thread we object we hang by rope or thread the weight of the object will act downward direction same as the, on the thread or in a rope there will be force opposing to this direction that force is called as tension force clear that force is called as tension force next one is force of friction or frictional force that means see the frictional whenever you are writing on a board in between the surface of the chalk and in between the with this surface of the board there is a friction okay the interaction between the two surfaces correct right? it produces heat also so whenever we try to whenever we try to walk see i behind our behind our shoes there will be a friction with the surface of ground clear because of that we can walk so this is the friction force it is always opposite a person when it is when he is walking a person is walking on a surface if you move a object on the surface in this direction by this surface in interaction there will be a opposite direction there will be a force that is called as force of friction clear next one is we have force due to what is collision that means when two object collide with each other two object just for example if one ball is coming from this direction another ball is coming from this direction what will happen after some time they will hit each other they will collide that is called force due to collision clear 
So what have we studied? There the contact force, what are forces there? Applied forces are there, that we, the force applied by us. Then muscular force, we are using our muscles and all. Then tension force in, in the thread. Then we are having force of friction in between the surface. And last, we are having force due to collision. Clear? So these are the forces. Next, we are having mechanical force also. Mechanical force. So what is mechanical force? The force applied by the machine, that machinery part, you can see car, correct, car, vehicle, or any other engine and all the ma machines. The force applied by the machines is called as mechanical force. Clear? Now, let's go for the non-contact force. These are the all contact force. Now, let's see the non-contact force. What are the non-contact forces are there? We are going to discuss about that. What are the non-contact force? Now, what are the non-contact force? So, what are the non-contact force? Non-contact, I told, there is a no interaction with the object. That means, they will not touch each other when there will be force. Now, you see, all the object around us, even though when fruits, if they fall from tree, even you throw a ball, they are all falling down one direction. That means, any object, they always fall down one direction to the where? ground. All the object, they fall towards the ground. Why? Because there is a force due to gravity which attracts all the object towards its center. That force is called as gravitational force. So, what is the first force? The other first force is gravitational force. The force due to the gravity of earth. Correct? Next. What is the force? Next force is magnetic force. Magnetic force. The force due to two magnet. The force applied by the magnet. You have seen if it is a if it is a magnet. If there is iron nails, if there is iron nails, if it is magnet, the magnet will attract this iron. You have seen, many times you have seen, so they, they don't touch each other. Is there any touching? No, don't touch, you will not see anything. Just they attract by the magnet. So this force is called as magnetic force. So there in magnetic force, you need to know one thing. You know that in a magnet, how many poles are there? Two poles are there. One is north pole, another is south pole. But when another north pole will come, here they will attract they will attract or repulse, they will attract each other, correct. Like pole, they will what? repulse and unlike pole, these are south and north, they are not like, they are unlike. So unlike pole, they will attract each other as well as these two are like poles, they will repulse each other. So in case of magnetic force, you know that, we to know what, in case of magnet, the like poles repulse each other and the unlike pole they will attract each other clear next is electrostatic force so electrostatic force means the force between charges you know charges positive charges are there negative charges are there Now, these two charges are same, that means like charge. So, what will happen there? Similar to magnetic force, these two charges, they will repulse each other. There is repulsion between the, which one? Like, char like charges and attraction between the unlike charges. These two charges, they, they will attract each other. Clear? So, now, can you tell me what is the difference between these two, no these three non-contact forces? This one having attraction as well as repulsion. Magnetic force also there is attraction as well as repulsion. But in case of gravitational force, there is no repulsion. There is only attraction. Clear? There is only attraction in case of gravitational force. So these are the non-contact forces. And previously, I have shown you what are the contact forces. Clear? So in these classes, what you have learned? 
we will learn about the types of forces. What are there? There is contact force and non-contact force. Contact force means there will be contact with the body, basically there will be interaction with the body. Non-contact force means there will be no interaction with the body. What are the contact force? You have seen applied force, muscular force, force due to a collision, frictional force, then machine mechanical force, clear? tension force here in these are the non-contact forces, gravitational force, magnetic force as well as electrostatic force. Clear? In next class we will discuss about more topic. Okay. Thank you.